Hello everyone, this is a Hasbro update video. So recently there has been some information which was on Wave 2 for Speedstorm, which uh, we did a video on uh, covering. And in this case around, there is an update to the Elite, the, the Elite Pro, the, the Super, the Elite, the Elite Champion set. Yeah. So it comes with Chosey Valtrek and Chosey Achilles. So to quickly go over how you would get this set, uh, for US, it's pre-order right, so first of all, this set is still pre-order regardless. It's not coming out till next year. For this uh, set for the US, you can order it on Target, and for Canada, stay tuned for Toys R Us. Toys R Us right now is going to be the main source uh, for these uh, new products, and very specific, the Pro Series. Toys R Us will be getting this Pro Series uh, battle set, which pre-order will be up very soon. Uh, which we will do a video going over, that way people, if they're interested in ordering the set and they're in Canada, an easy way to do it. Uh, next up, uh, just talk about, so obviously Canada, Toys R Us, oh also the, the Pro Series starters are going to be in Toys R Us 100% very, very, very soon. I, I keep on saying soon, but like it, it, the weeks are already passing by, so it, it's closer and closer. Uh, with that being said, we're going to go over a breakdown on the set since we have more uh, images. I want to be trying to be as sort of object objective as possible. Obviously, you know, I'm not like some aggressive Hasbro hater. There are good things that Hasbro does and sometimes not the best. So it's uh, best to be as objective as possible. So first of all, I think visually wise, the bays look great, right? Like there's no... There's no, oh no, it looks ugly, no. The recolors for Hasbro look very, very good. To go over the first one, which is Cho Z Valtrek, it comes with a nice red and sort of blue color scheme that it has going on there. And it looks cool, like it looks cool, right? The color reference reminds me of the Victory Valkyrie red that TT has done. I think also Hasbro did do red uh, Victory Valtrek, I'm pretty sure. And Lost Longinus red that Takeratomi did. But you know, it, it, it looks cool. And something that should be said is that I do wonder if there's gonna be a difference in the teeth between this and the original. Now, not all the time there's a case like this, but sometimes when Takara Tomi releases stuff, like the recolor, sometimes they update the mold and they do differences with it, right? Like I remember like an example, I think Buster Excalibur for Takara Tomi. There's the original one, and then after the random booster ones, I think had a mold variation in them, with like the sword or something, right? So that's why I'm bringing up this point, because maybe, just maybe, the, the recolors have uh, maybe proper teeth. Now again, this is pure speculation, right? It's pure speculation, because we don't know. If I were to give the most likely guess, is that they'll probably still have the same teeth issue. So if you are wondering, what this teeth issue basically is, it's just that they wear very, they get stressed. So when, when something gets stressed, it means that it gets to the point where it's easy to break, and obviously that is not a good thing. I think Achilles so far is the more likely one out of the three pro bays uh, to get stressed, and then after there is Orb on guard. I think, Cho think Chosey Valtrek is like the most like durable for teeth, but maybe it's on guard. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. But just to bring up that point, because I'm sure people are wondering. With that aside, <laughs> let's take a look at it. So let's just say for whatever reason, the teeth is still an issue. Okay, what can I get out of this bay that would be useful? Well, you have the access to the Zenith disc. If you don't want to get the regular Chozy uh, Valkyrie from Takeratomi. Uh, the Zenith disc uh, has rubber features on it. Uh, this was not included for some reason on the Switch Strike Valtrek. Uh, well, I guess for the obvious reason that they used it in the Pro Series. It also features a dash driver. Now I'm very curious to see how this driver functions. Uh, like how how much of it is it like a dash driver compared to Takeratomi? So if you are wondering what a dash driver is, it is basically the same driver, the exact same, except it has a tighter spring and makes it harder to burst. Now, I am curious if this is going to be a good or a bad thing for the Pro Series. It's really good that they're doing these dash drivers, but if the teeth aren't durable, I worry. Or maybe they did it differently so they work with the Pro Series and it's more compatible that way. I, I don't know. 
again, it, it, at this point, it's, you know, it, I, I hope it's good. I hope it's good, right? Because it, it looks good and everything, but it's sort of like a trend with uh, Burst where every time something looks good, it's probably not going to perform that well. But, uh, you know, only time will tell, so whenever we're able to get the hands on the product uh, when this actually does release, uh, I do hope it's all good. Or something, man. It's got to be something. A uh, Destroy Dash is a very, very competitively viable part. And it's cool to have the normal Zenith. So there's that. I'm going over to Chosey Achilles. Uh, this is a very pro move by Hasbro. If you see what I did there. Uh, this is a recolor where it is Chosey Achilles but black. Now the thing is this, is that for Takara Tomy, the black Chosey Achilles, well, there's technically two black Chosey Achilles. There's a Legend Base Star, I think it was that one, where it was the black Chosey Achilles. And then after, there's the gold Chosey, no, but, and there's the white Chosey Achilles, but no. For the specific black one, I think it was like a one in every 72. Like, you'd basically have to like get this, the, the, the DX booster, whatever it was, right? And if you were lucky, you could actually pull a rare variant of it. Uh, I, I do like that Hasbro is doing the recolor for that Achilles. Uh, stoppers are red and everything. It's really, really cool. I'm actually... So I actually have them here. I am curious on that Achilles, because... Is it... Did they... Were the stoppers always red on that Achilles, or...? Let me see. Oh, they were! Wow, so this is really just verbatim. Wow. Yeah, okay, so the parts on this are one dash and absorb. Wow, this is just verbatim. Like, it, it's the exact same as the teeth. Wow. All right. Fair enough, I guess. Huh. Verbatim, man. Wow. It's, it's like the exact same. Well, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> wow, I didn't... I, I thought there was some difference with it or something. Wow, no, it really is... It's literally just the same, uh, like, how TT did it, huh? Uh, the Absorb Driver, uh, the Absorb Driver basically functioned the same way that the Nothing Driver did. Uh, you know, same same principle. I think uh, if you really did like a hard launch, like a strong launch, you would go really crazy around the stadium. But yeah, as far as that goes, again, as I will repeat constantly, I hope it's good. Uh, one thing I have to say is that I think the like the most objective thing to say out of the set is that even if like let's say the bays are useless aside from maybe I guess the Zenith disc on uh, Chosey Valtriac, this stadium I think is where it's at. I don't know if this is like a hot take, but I, I I would say this is like the best stadium that's non gimmicky that Hasbro has released. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably yeah, I could even say in general. Uh, this is literally just like. The standard stadium that TT has done for all these years, but slightly modified. Uh, for starters, there are four uh, pockets on each corner, but I don't mind this too much. And plus it has a guard that's just like TT. I don't mind it, well, obviously it would've been cool if it was just the exact same thing, but I guess because of how Hasbro stadiums work, they had to modify it. But I, I like this quite a bit. I, I like it quite a bit. I think, uh, stadium like this are really cool and it's like the, the best thing uh, the pro series could probably offer stadium wise uh, it was a very smart move to actually pick a stadium that was like TT but obviously like modified for Hasbro for the system since it's technically classified as its own system that's like branded like how Speedstorm is branded or how Slingshocker you get the idea uh, so there is also the QR on this, although it's a bit pointless because the app is not updated. I tried to do an edit on the thing there. What I would say, very simply, is that wait till the app updates, then after it's easy to scan. All right. So, you know, that's like the best thing. Like the app is not updated, right? So if you open your app and you try to scan it right now, you can't do it because it's not updated. I tried to zoom in, I tried to put it on different sections, see if it works. So when the app eventually will update, because it will update obviously eventually, uh, you know, have fun scanning it, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's kind of it for this video. So obviously I hope that uh, the teeth on these are durable. If not, at least the Zenith disc is gonna be useful from these two bays. 
Uh, I think again, biggest takeaway is probably just the stadium, and it's really just going to be up uh, to you, I guess. I hope they uh, fix the issue with the Pro Series, obviously. And I'm excited to see how it's going to work. You know, I'm excited to see how it's going to work. So let me know uh, your thoughts, uh, as always, in the comments. I am very curious to see these uh, people's thoughts. And again, I wanted to make sure I was objective with this so people don't think I'm, you know, too negative or too positive or whatever, right? You know, gotta be fair. What I am curious too is to see how this system will develop and how they're gonna execute it till the end because it has a lot of potential and they definitely could fix it up even if it takes like a year's time or however long it would take for production wise to fix the issue. But uh, yeah, wanna say thank you all for watching. If you are new here to the channel and you wanna see more videos like this, click the subscribe button and make sure notifications are on. A lot of people are subscribed, but I see sometimes comments saying, hey, I wasn't notified, and that's why you gotta hit the bell. So, have an awesome and amazing day. I have videos already on the Pro Series, so check those out. Battles, and bye.